Today, we are going to discuss about an American political scientist, political economist, and writer Francis Fukuyama, which completed higher education at Cornell University and his doctorate from Harvard University. As you know, human history goes back billions of years. Humanity is a social being, but is barbaric and self-interested. For this reason, every individual thinks of himself beforehand. This situation creates disorder and order must come to the world. For this reason, there is an effort to establish an order in the world from the first man until today. In the past, local communities were established before, and then starting from ancient Greeks, the extending to present, formations that formed an order and a regime called the state were established. States have been governed by certain regimes and systems from past to present. Marxism, religious regimes, aristocracy, junta are just a few examples of all these systems. All of these have risen and developed over time. Although all systems where people are put in order are sometimes interrupted, they have always improved when a graphic is hit. The final point of this development or evaluation, according to Fukuyama, is liberal democracies. The concept unlimited fr- freedom today is the most appropriate form of management to the nature of human beings. People are individual thinkers, and issues that do not harm them in the forehead are not their concern. Fukuyama advocates free market capitalism on e- economic issues. A capitalist free market economy is an economic system in which prices of goods and services are freely determined by the forces of supply and demand and are not allowed to reach equilibrium without the in- intervention of government policy. Free market capitalism demands that the government minimize or even not intervene in the market. This supports the freedom thesis just mentioned. Fukuyama has also written books on these topics that will go down the world history. Fukuyama's best known book, The End of History and the Last Man, tells here that the progress of human history as a struggle between ideologies is approaching the end. After the Cold War, ending with the collapse of the Soviets and the fall of Berlin Wall, the world is fully settled in liberal democracy. Another book is The Origins of Political Order, written 23 years later in 1211. Fukuyama explains in this book what makes the state stable, strong and reliable. He uses political history comparatively to develop the theory of a political system according to Fukuyama, an ideal political order needs a modern, effective and a powerful state of love. Finally, as a continuation of this book, he wrote Political Order and Political Decay in 2014. Apart from this, Francis Fukuyama has also specialized in the Middle East. The American invention of Afghanistan, the Iraq-American war, the oil wars in the Middle East and many more have been mentioned in Fukuyama's books. Fukuyama also made statements about Turkey in the past months. In his statement, Fukuyama stated that Turkey's regional power is increasing day by day. Putting Turkey among the Middle East country, Fukuyama stated that a key power belongs to our country. Fukuyama's views are still great of importance in many areas around the world. Who could have imagined that a such small Japanese-looking American could impress the world with his views this so much? This particular year, it's a good idea to step back and think about how the world has changed. Uh, actually.